Yeah. There's a beverage. Cheers, big ears. Mm-hmm. Cheers, big ears. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! There it is. So, Habs are just on cruise control, again, for the third game in a row, practically, against the Winnipeg Jets. The Winnipeg Jets just don't have it. They don't got it. It's crazy. It's bonkers how it just they 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 don't got that killer instinct. Paul Statsny draws back into the lineup. Yeah. And was a non-factor. Except for except for the penalty he took. Two penalties, I think, actually. Was it two? I believe so. I think I have the game okay. log here. I'll double check it. But um yeah, listeners, welcome back. Uh game three just concluded. And uh Habs win five to one. With an empty netter. Just a commanding victory. Commanding. Right off the get-go. First period. Corey Perry. Not even five Corey minutes into Perry. the game. Just worms his way through. <laughs> and he's having himself a series, if not a playoffs. If not a regular season. What a freaking mensch. Yeah, he's a mensch. Guy's incredible. Great word. Mm. I love that word. Mm-hmm. Say Alimon. German. Um, I always like that, uh, word in French for German, but, um, yeah, Corey Perry, uh, uh 445 oh, in the first period. Say Alemán, like food. It's no, food. no. Uh, okay. hmm. How? Alemania. Uh, is Alemania it? is the country. Is and it? the language, I think. Yeah, I, I believe so. I have to double yeah. check with our it's knowledgeable ALE friends. It's in international hockey. Is it? We. Oui. But wow. Because la langue est français. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, so isn't that cool. It is cool. So yeah. first period, Habs are up one nothing, and I mean, if anything, uh, the game two was a one nothing game off a shorty from Toffoli, and we'll get to that in a second too. Uh, but then second period starts, and about halfway through the second period, we have ourselves Arturi Lekkinen in a way gets Halibuck to get the puck in. It was a mad scramble. It could have been either Dano, Gallagher, Lekkinen, but it was confirmed that Lekkinen gets the goal in. Two nothing halves. He's a workhorse. Absolutely. My goodness, I love that player. He's so good. So good. I thought incorrectly that the halves might put Tatar in, reunite the Dano uh, uh, Gallagher line, but um, we may be seeing the last season of Tomish Tatar. Yeah, for and that's Habs. not a bad thought, Dave, because of all of the reasons that you um, outlined, like, you know, sort of just reuniting that line and the success that they've had in the past. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. for me, I thought, I just thought Lekonen, just because of the matchup, just because of the way that I thought when it, what Winnipeg was going to play, like, I thought that they were going to be, start being chippy and they have just not had an answer for two straight games. Um and the Habs are just not allowing them to do anything. It's not allowing them. Embarrassing. Yeah, it's um, it's um, people like to make the comparison between this series and the uh, Avalanche Vegas series, which is like how how did someone how did someone put it? Like you're riding your bike and all of a sudden you find yourself on a freeway, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, well, that's pretty accurate because the Habs they're they're <laughs> forcing the Jets to play their style. And if don't fix what's broke, because yeah. it's been working solidly. Exactly. And again, it's almost a carbon copy from the, the last post game that we did. Um, sparks of life here and there from the Jets, but it's, it's not sustained. They couldn't. The Habs defense is so much better this series, even against the Maple Leafs. Then that could be, you know, because the Jets don't have a Matthews, Marner, Hyman. Kerfoot, Galchenyuk, any of those guys. Yeah. But, and, um, 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 you know, Stastny draws in and he didn't look great in warm up. Well, he's, he shouldn't have been playing probably, but he probably really wants to play because, you know, playoffs. Wants to help his team and yeah. wants to help. The, um, the other thing is, uh, Pierre Luc Dubois, where is he? Sucked. Yeah. Just awful. There was some, mm, you know, the crowd's back in the Bell Center. I sure do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so second period continues, and um, uh, there is a power play off of... Let me double check what this is. Oh, yeah, too many men on the ice call, which oh, was like, God, what? Yeah. 
I couldn't believe that. I, I, I only looked at it like once or twice, Such like right after the play. Penalty. And I was like, really? They called it on that? And I'm like, well, you know, if they want to do it by the book. That is by yeah. the book. Too many men. But Jesus. Makes you wonder. Um, I mean, makes you wonder. Granted, it didn't really help out the Jets all that much because what happens? Freaking one man Armia, unassisted. Gets himself, gets himself uh, 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 the puck, and he's going up the ice with the... That's the thing I forget. Edmondson? Somebody he was, else. He had himself a game. All the Deve men had themselves a game. Yeah. Actually, something to watch, and I'll mention it after this. But uh, regardless, Armia just freaking roofs it. Gets to go, and it's 3 nothing halves. And this is at the 13-minute the mark of the second period, meaning uh, uh, 13 minutes gone. So there's seven minutes left in the period. M more than half the game's gone. It's three nothing? Excuse me? My Excuse God. Me? And, um, yeah, just what a, what a crazy thing. So the second period continues, and it's just, it's all, everything's going all halves right now. Up until uh, the final two, three minutes of the period, Paul Byron. Gets um, gets a high stick. He gets a head to uh, a stick to the fucking forehead. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a, a little bit of a high hit on a like a, on like an open ice check. Nothing, just hockey play, playoffs, whatever. But the resulting thing is that his helmet comes off, which is mm, questionable. Got to get off the ice. And it it wasn't even that that the high stick was intentional very rarely that a high stick is actually intentional but what happened here is the guy is skating away and is he just has a stick going back because of momentum physics and bullshit right and just whacks byron square in the head that is a penalty uh yeah that is yeah, a penalty no matter what and paul byron, paul byron goes back to the bench and he's just this is blood he's got it like He's blood like, over the place. So he has to go because his his helmet's gone, and the result resulting chaos is because that was the the further change for the Habs in in the second period. Um, Jets get themselves uh, some offensive uh, possession, and it is uh, a play from Appleton to Perot to Lowry. Great oh, seam God. pass. Great yeah. seam pass. And yeah, they bank it in and pass Price, and now it's three one. It's like oh shit. This better not be no, one of those shit. games. Better no, no, not no, no, be. Because no. cause at that point, you're thinking, are these guys going to score two goals against Carey Price now? Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. And that uh, that was all put into stark contrast to as the third period started. Same game. Nothing changed. Nothing, 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 nothing. At the end of that second period, I think the Jets only had like, like they were just getting outshot. Just absolutely devastated in that until the goal. Okay, goal, second period ends, 3-1 wow, okay. into the locker room. Third period starts, and uh, it's the freaking, it's the Habs show once again. We have a uh, power play off of a, now the third period was, that's when things started to get a bit chippy. Um, yeah, cross check yeah. against Paul Byron by Andrew Kopp there. That was um three three penalties in that period, the Jets? Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. And then they called Anderson for that scuffle in Bullshit. the corner. Yeah, Anderson that was the handsome. My goodness. Ass. What a freaking A. So good looking. So good looking. Um, so Andrew Cop <laughs> cross checked uh Paul Byron results in a power play, and the first unit goes on. First unit being uh Suzuki Caulfield. Oh Christ. To Foley. Okay. And um Oh, first, oh, the first unit. Yeah, yeah for sorry. those guys. Yep, Suzuki, yep, yep. Caulfield, Toffoli. And I don't recall if they were doing the two D-men at that point because they were taking power plays and the Habs were up and they put two, two defensemen back on the power play just to... They were playing defensive power play, but uh, didn't stop Caulfield feeding Suzuki for a sweet goal on Halibut 4-1. Damn! Almost halfway through the third period that happens. And that's when the game started to get a bit ridiculous. Because yeah. um, the Jets see the writing on the wall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dubois, he was getting writing chanted. He was getting a, a yes. bit of the Bronx chant, uh, the, the Bronx chant in the, the Bronx in Montreal. Tier. Yes, exactly. Yeah. As he should have, because he was uh, playing lame. Um, yeah, he was. Uh, he was terrible. Oh my god! Imagine if we got him. Oh. Never no. mind. 
I never wanted him. Imagine. Imagine all the Imagine people that. that wanted him and now they're sucking it. So, um... <laughs> And now and, they're like, ew. And the whole, you, don't like him. you know, and just the whole game just continues as is. Eventually, uh, uh, the last power, the last power play for the Jets came off of, uh, right, right, Josh Anderson getting like a slash on somebody, and uh, the Jets on the power play. What are they doing? Paul Hallibuck four six v four didn't stop Armia again. From sinking the empty net yes. from like halfway down the net uh halfway down the ice he just had he didn't even look he had a, a split second look and shot it got it through two jets and there it is and that's it five one murder she wrote done murder she wrote uh Angela they, lansbury and they didn't her. yes and i think she's a bit of a pos now but it's okay she was great oh, shit. she was great in murder she wrote but five one habs take five one at home they won at home god damn it the sixth win in a row for the Habs in the playoffs. I tried to look up the last time that they did that, regular season or playoffs, whatever, and I didn't have a chance to find it. Okay, wait a minute. There was a stat that came up during the game, and I made a Ooh. note specifically for the Habby Hour. Mm. This is the longest the Montreal, and, and it might have changed, no, it wouldn't have changed. This is the longest that the Montreal Canadiens have gone without trailing since 1978. Wow. There were people still listen to eight tracks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, yep. And um I think Club 54 was still around. Yeah, Club 54 for sure. No, yeah, Club is it Club 54? Club 56, 54. Uh oh. 50 something. Uh... There's a there's a station on Sirius XM. That Studio I 54. Studio Excuse 54. me. That's mm -hmm. it. And um, what else? 1978. Um, I think the metric system was just being introduced in Canada. Wow. Yep. Had just been introduced in Canada. What the hell was used before? Fucking whatever. Miles and gallons and shit. Oh, the imperial no system? Sense. Yeah. Oh, wow. there, it makes no sense to me. Well, like... Everything in metric makes sense. It's a thousand of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like yep. how, how much simpler could it be? Yeah. It's um it's ridiculous. And that has to change at some point. On top of daylight savings time. Get rid of it. Don't need Get it. Get rid of it. So I'm longest longest streak of taking a lead or at least not giving up the lead. Not trailing. In decades. Since the Cold like War. Fifty fucking year? Is it fifty years? Something like that. Almost. 45? Yeah, yeah. Somewhere in the 40s. Yep. Right yeah. 20, 20, 20, 20, Since 1978. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Habs are doing great. Are you kidding me? And it's it's the second game in a row where truly the Habs forbade the Jets from establishing anything. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that game six against the Rangers. That year, that um, Tokarski was yeah. going in for Carey Price. It reminds mm -hmm. me of that game six that the Habs were unable to do anything that mm -hmm. game. It was so frustrating. But, like, it's been two games in a row now. Like, Paul Maurice, ooh, who, he's on TV right now. Whoa. Like, fucking... I don't know, ma'am, but th that's the other thing that I was going to say. And I, and I said it during the game is that the Habs have now established that warrior mentality. Speaking of warrior mentality, we have yeah. ourselves, um, oh crap. Where the hell is it? I had it just now. Then I lost it. Arturi Lekkanen was seven shots in this game. Uh, Cole, Cole was leading at one point. Cole Caulfield was six. Cole's hungry, man. Oh my god! He's just it's shooting. Coming. It's coming. It is. Cole. I promise. It's it, coming. It just so happens that he's up against Connor Hallibuck now. Yeah. So and Hallibuck, you know, all you know, <laughs> say 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 your praise all you want about Hallibuck, but he's not yeah. having a fun time with this particular nope. Jets team. Holy crap! No. No. Wow, Shea Weber with a plus three. Jesus, that's my favorite stat. I love him so much. Mm -hmm. Toffoli 100% on the face-offs. Good for him. 
Nice. Um, also, Paul Statsny led the Jets with... Nope. Yes? No. No, he did not lead the Jets. I thought what, he did, did. what did he do? I thought... Um, how come I can't read anymore? He had no shots on goal. Get your eyes checked, maybe. Statsny had zero... You spend a lot of time in front of a computer. I do, but I um, look at art to mitigate the uh, weird damage. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Why didn't you give me that so, tip before? So you can look at, oh, look, like there's some uh, colorful poster. I just looked yeah. at that for a little bit. <laughs> Eyes readjust, re whatever. Um, Paul, we I mean, Blake Wheeler, minus four. Ooh, too bad. I'm so sorry, Blake. Kyle Connor with minus four. <laughs> That's crazy. Just I don't want to laugh at stats. Kyle Connor too much because... That guy, he's... Juju. Yeah, yeah, he's a... He could... Yeah do some damage if he wants we to. We have just... to find a way to get him, as I've mentioned. I'd love Kyle Connor. He's oh my like, god. uh my god, uh he was a high, high pick, though. Like, number three. I thought he was like three overall in the McDavid year. Oh, shit. Like, it I, was, I had no idea. It was McDavid, Eichel, Kyle Connor. <laughs> Never I think. have I played, paid so much attention to Western teams as this year. Goodness gracious. Yeah, really. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. 17th overall <laughs> in 2015. Oh. <laughs> but he's still up there, though. Like, no, no. Yeah, that's, like, that's not. Yeah. Who was three? Dylan Strom. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's where that's where Zach Warinsky came in. Okay, okay. Oh, Thomas Shabbat. Hatsambacho. I believe Hatsambacho. Thomas Shabbat. That name. Yeah, it's yeah. back when uh, Brian five or six for the Senators. Called him Hot oh, and right. Bozzo still, for I've, a song. I've, never, I've held off following that guy. Well, he, he must be really happy. Is he really happy? Because he's, he's a Senators fan. All the Senators fans are so happy that we eliminated the Leafs. They, um, well, apparently, Brian Five or Six was watching the game tonight. He's like, Montreal Canadiens are really good. <laughs> I was like, okay. I love okay, I, I love Brian Five or Six. He's great. I know you do. Um, And yeah, what else was there with these guys? Uh, looking at ice times now. Very even keel for forwards. Every forward played at least 13 minutes. How much time did Lekonen get? Because that was one of the questions in the predictor tonight. I Lekunen... guessed that he would get... <laughs> will Brendan Gallagher score a goal? I said yes. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, will... How many shots on goal will, will Shea Weber get? And I said four or more. One. Fuck. Lekkonen had the second most of uh, forward time with 1625. First being Philip Deneau, 1723. Fuck. I said he'd get between 13 and 1450. Oh, uh, whatever. Just missed it. And Look the lowest. My avocado is on my, on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Reason they're so expensive. We started putting them on phones. Because they're delicious. They are delicious. Uh, Caulfield with the uh, least amount of uh, time, 1301, but led the team. No, he didn't lead the team. Very close to leading the team on power play time. Uh, second to Toffoli. Actually, third to Toffoli and Weber. Like, seconds apart, though. Which is fine. Well, that's Keep fine. him on that that's power argument. play. Keep yeah. going. 100%. Mm -hmm. Game game four tomorrow. The what? Habs. It is, the, it is the Habs series to lose. They're doing everything right. They're not even. It's. Let's think back to one week ago. Oh, yeah. A little over one week ago. Yeah. He was firing Coach Ducharme. Firing Mark Bergevin. Oh, we were too. Oh my god. Uh, After that uh game four, oh we were saying if this series doesn't go, doesn't turn around. Mm -hmm. And Max kept keeps reminding me that I was saying after that game four, we better see a Herculean effort in game game five. And it wasn't just that, it wasn't just the players, it was also the coaching mm -hmm. and the adjustments. And everything else. Yep, yep. But like, just like it, it, it just seems like so long ago, right? It does. It's crazy. Night and day, practically. But I remember yeah. Game Four against the Leafs. They got they got flummoxed. It was. They got so, shut out. I think it was heartbreaking. Just awful. They just yeah. got murdered. 
And then um, they didn't. And since then, the Habs all roses. Won six games in a row. That's right. Corey Perry and Eric That's Stahl. That's not a fucking fluke at this time of year, by the way. No. To anybody else, to anybody who wants to say anything. Playoffs, baby. But Playoffs, yeah, baby. Corey Perry and Eric Stahl. Would, the team would not have done that without those two. Nope. And I think it, it it reminds me of that game seven. I think it was that game seven, remember, against uh, the Boston Bruins in that series, and I've talked about it before, where they were leading. The Habs, I believe, were either leading it by maybe just one, mm-hmm. and Carey Price made a speech in the locker room Ooh. in the second intermission. Mm-hmm. And then the Habs hung on and won it. And Sean Gordon wrote about that famously. Excellent. Who is, uh, like, I, I can't wait to read him again. Hey, Sean, if you're listening. Sean, um, write more. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Please, my God. Um, <laughs> so it kind of reminds me of that. And, and like, just thinking about all of the Stanley Cup rings on this team. And for guys like Stahl and Perry, who it's easy to assume those guys are beloved in that room. Um, to go out and make a speech. And again, Corey Perry said after the next game, he just said, like they were asked, oh, you know, have you made another speech? And he said, no. Everything's been said. Everything's been said. Done. And oh my God, he was so wonderful on the first goal. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <Pretty bad. laughs> just great. Fantastic. Uh, Tyler Toffoli leads the team in points. I wonder if this is updated. I'm not sure actually. Uh, anyway, Tyler Foy leads the team in two points. Uh, shoot. What about goals? The three-way tie. Kota Kanyemi, Suzuki, and now Armia. Love it. Again, I'm not sure if that's... Okay, game seven, one, two, three. Yeah, no, This is, these are the updated stats. Yeah. So, yep. So, yeah, it would be... Kota Kanyemi would have been in the lead if not for tonight. Those jerks. Corey Perry with three goals. So, he's the uh, tie down there. Um, assists, Eric Stahl was six. Eric Stahl. Yep. And Toffoli with five right under him. But, uh, the thing I was, I was looking up in particular is that that fourth line is killing. Yeah. They're, they're doing work. Eric Stahl, uh, Corey Perry and, uh, Armia, Armia, one man Armia there. Absolutely. They have combined for, to do some maths, 20 points in the series. I love it. Awesome. Awesome. Oh my God. That's anyway, I don't like, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm just not going to jinx it. I had, um, we got together with my mom today. Hey, hey. yay. So it was, all, it was basically all men and my mom and me. <laughs> so my brothers, my nephew, my son, my boyfriend, and we all just got together to celebrate her birthday. And of course my brothers are Habs fans and my nephew is not a Habs fan, but he's a, he's a passionate hockey fan. He's a Canucks fan. And that my son also as well. And, um, it's just like, it was just so great. Just fucking talking trash in person with Habs fans. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. I, um, I was going to watch, uh, the game at Chris's house again tonight. Right. I had, but I had something for lunch that didn't really agree with me. So I thought maybe oh, no. not go to his house to drink. Eat? I had myself some nice salmon, honestly. Oh. So get back home. Obviously not BC salmon. What was I don't know what it was, but um I had plans to join the guys for a game of hockey too. I was going to get my gear and head over to the rink, and I was just like, nope, that's not gonna happen oh, tonight. That's too bad. So I just stayed home. Nah, no big deal. It's okay, it happens. Next time, as they say. But um gave me more time to actually watch the game. Just holy crap. Freaking Habs are taking it to them. At an unusual time. Like I just whatever. Mm-hmm. What time's the game tomorrow? Eight Eastern. So okay. five for you. Okay. I okay, believe good. I'm gonna double check so that. It's right at quitting time for me. It is later. So I'm just gonna double check that again. Awesome, because it is in Mon- Montreal. Yep, still in Montreal, 8 o'clock. The crowd tonight, by the way, my God. On top of it. Those I du- love you. Those Dubois chants, yes. 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 
So good. Jess and Christina there again. Yes, they were. Of course. I swear to God, Trudeau, open up that goddamn border. I know. Jesus. God. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, what can you do? Just stay. Open it up. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Nothing to change. Oh, yeah, that's Nothing's what I wanted broke. to mention. Yeah. It's a, that is the longest that the Habs have trailed, or not have gone without trailing. Had a shutout streak going for a bit. Yeah. Into the second it period, was at least. Through four periods and a mm -hmm, half, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess. And only one goal. Carrie is Carrie. I mean, we haven't even talked about him because you don't have, we don't have to. Yeah, Carrie's just been, he's and been. And he'd rather we didn't. He's so lights out. Done. Does his job. It's fun. Amanda Suzuki was in the building. Yes, she was. Good old Samantha yeah. Suzuki. <laughs> Amanda Suzuki. Amanda. Importantly, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> Guy Lafleur and Yvon Cornoyer oh were also in the, the building. Road runner. I had no idea, you know, that any of that was happening because the Habs didn't mention it. Nobody mentioned it. But I, nope. uh, after one of the commercial breaks, uh, Michel Lacroix. Did numero 10, Guy Lafleur. I was like, "Why Guy's in the house?" And yeah, there it is. I caught there. There was a screen grab after one of the goals uh, that they panned over to Guy and Ivan, and there was a there was a lady <laughs> from from another suite who looked like quite a girl knows what she's doing, and she's fist pumping Ivan and, and Guy Lafleur blew her a kiss. I was like, "Jesus, he's in he's in top form." Good old Guy Lafleur. <laughs> I think it was him, Ivan Cornway. I think Rajon Hul was there too. Rajon Hul. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, it was so nice to see. Obviously, I love all three of them, but it was so nice to see Guy. Yes, because looking, we haven't. Looking healthy and hearty and there for the game because what a game. And, and we have. Tomorrow, haven't. again in Montreal. That's right. That's right. Because we haven't really heard about Guy too much. No. Every once in a while, we just hear he's doing well. It's like, oh, okay. He he does he does the Instagram thing every so often. Yeah, when but you that's when he expect. That's when he's peddling his wine. That's and, true. <laughs> and what? Well, actually, is it a whiskey? Actually, or is it a wine? Mm, I think it is a wine. It's a wine. I have to double check. But yeah, when when he's trying to sell us liquor, thanks, Gee. <laughs> true. That's like so Gee. It is so Gee. <laughs> Not good for him. So it was cool having some literal living legends in the uh, the Bell Center to to watch a great game. Just kill them. Good. It was so fun. Win for Guy. Win for Jake. No updates on Jake. Uh, last thing we heard was that he was ambulant, as you said. Ambulant. Um, so Ducharme today said that, yes, il va mieux, but there's no timeline uh, for his return because of the nature of the injury. There's no way to know, but he's not, he's not doing badly. Right. Right. So that's as really as good as you can hope for. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah, particularly, I mean, that he didn't sustain any additional injuries. Like it's like, it's like I've mentioned before, like babies who are like made out of rubber. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Speaking of babies made out of rubber, uh, yeah. Jeff Petrie left the game early for oh, getting his shit. finger stuck in a fucking camera hole. Yeah. I thought that they would close those when nobody's using them, but oh well. What can you yeah. do? Maybe right they'll now. start doing that. Uh, so who knows how long Jeff's going to be out? I mean, a finger? Fingers are important when holding a stick. I think... I they probably removed him just because the game was in hand mm -hmm. at that at that time. You I, know, they might I, like cement cement a splint to it or something. Mm -hmm. It's playoffs, man. Yeah, I I would be kind of surprised if he doesn't uh, suit up tomorrow. Yeah, I would be too. Yeah, knowing hockey and knowing hockey, how important and fingers knowing are. Hockey players. Mm -hmm. If this, it was me, I'd be like, do whatever you like, Mr. Miyagi, give me the whatever. <laughs> I'm going to play tomorrow. Yep, yep. Finger's fine. A toe? A toe would drive me crazy. I'd be like, I can't do it, coach. <laughs> oh, my God. I have like a toe. An, um, with do you? Certain, 
I have lots of toes, Ooh. but I have one toe in particular on my right foot uh -oh. that because I have super high arches. Uh oh. So, and I, I, I know I have to get some kind of special footwear, but whatever I haven't done in so many years, I have super high arches and with certain shoes that I wear, my toes kind of like separate from themselves. And it is the most painful thing that I can describe to you. Oh no. So like if I, and I broke a toe once, one time walking in a lake, oh. my, my toe just like kind of went went walking on a, like on, stepping on a rock. Yeah. And it Damn is it. like toes are like, that shit is painful. In, Dude. in soccer, you know, I, Many years yeah. I played soccer, high school, yeah. travel teams, etc. And one of the the scummiest things that another team's player could do is step on your foot, and that's Ugh. especially with cleats. Forget it. And, oh my god, there was. But then again, at practice, there was one guy that I had on my team, bit of a hefty fellow, couldn't really control his momentum that well when he was at speed. And just, there was this one time he stepped on, on my foot and like turned at the same time. I'm like, Ryan, what the fuck are you doing? So I set out the rest of that practice because like, come on, dude. Yeah. It's practice. It's practice. But what anyways, whatever. Soccer, hockey, different stuff. Out on my deck right now. Okay. Ooh, um, what kind of bird? Uh, I don't know. Like there's. I don't know if it's climate change or what it is. We don't have like beautiful, colorful birds out here in BC. That's climate we, change. We, ha we have woodpeckers. We have lots of crows. We have lots of um, seagulls. Um, pigeons are in the short gulls, supply. Seagulls, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> pigeons are in short supply around here. But like, yeah, the occasional hummingbird you find out here. But I have like this cute little bird that has been hanging out on my deck for the majority of the weekend. And nice. it's, I don't know what, what kind it is. It's like this tiny little bird and it's mostly white, but it's got like some brown and some gray and like this long little tail. Mm. I, I couldn't tell you what kind of bird it is, but it's so cute and it really likes my deck. Good. Yeah. Old game knows game. There it is. <laughs> I wish we had like robins and, you know, that kind of stuff out here, but we don't. Oh, yeah. Got to come to New York sometime. There's birds yeah. everywhere, all over the damn you place. You know that I'm coming to New York as soon as I can. Good. Yeah. As soon as. Let me know. We'll make it a freaking day yeah. out of it. Dave, like I'd come to New York and I'd tell you. Bring a, bring a wallet. I'm sorry <laughs> to say, but man, if you're talking to the city, you got to bring a wallet. So, okay. We're coming up actually the, um, that's all our time. But I mean, like, what's there to talk about? Final thoughts, Veronica. Six in a row, motherfuckers. We can close it out tomorrow. I'm not jinxing anything, but this is something that can happen tomorrow. And it's in Montreal. And I haven't seen anything from the Jets in the last few games that would suggest otherwise. So really excited for tomorrow night. I thought that Paul Statsny would be a bit of an ace in the hole for them. But I thought he'd be a factor. He hasn't really looked that well. I thought Pierre Luc Dubois would rise to the occasion. You're playing in Quebec. Come on. Uh, that didn't really work out all that well. Uh, Blake Wheeler. I mean, just the whole whatever is going on with that team isn't good for them. And it's all Habs. That's win it. Thing. Win it for the fans. Win it for the fans. Oh my God. At Have home. We earned this? Win Have it. We earned this. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to look up the last time the Habs closed a series in Montreal because I think it's been a bit. When they <laughs> swept the Tampa Bay's, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Are you sure? Was that at home? I thought the Habs had them in the regular season. Like, so it'd be Montreal, Montreal, Tampa, Tampa. So I could be wrong. They swept the Tampa Bay Lightning in the playoffs. 2016, 2015, something. I yeah. Remember. I can't remember what, where that was. Great series. Because it was a Oh, sweet. my God. <laughs> it was so delicious. Piki Subban. Mm. He was such a treat. So there Back it is. Back in the old days. Back in the old days. Well, that's it. All things are Habs, and they just got to keep that foot on the accelerator. Don't let up. And just win it. Win it tomorrow. Done. Thank you yeah. guys for listening. Thanks, guys, for listening.
Uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Oh, and Mr. Banana Cheeks, thank you, by the way. Yes. We do read your comments <laughs> sometimes. The YouTube comment <laughs> section, we, we, we've been kind of putting away because it's a... Yeah. It's a, it's a forest fire half the time. But thank you for all the comments. We really do appreciate yeah. it. And I do see them on occasion. So yeah. thank you so much. Thanks. And I've, I've loved following you for all these years. There it is. Um, there it is. Okay, that's it. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. And game time tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific. 5 p.m. Pacific. Um, 7 o'clock Mountain Time. 7 o'clock Mountain. No, 7 o'clock. Central. Six Mountain? Six Mountain Time. Um, don't quote us. Don't, don't, like, go and check your app. <laughs> don't believe us. Uh, <laughs> if it's in Delaware, then, uh, it might be different. Hawaii Time, I think, is different, too. Oh, yeah, it's way different. And also the half hour, right, for... Like, uh, freaking Ohio, and Ohio too, and does that. Yeah, do they... Like two or three counties in Ohio do that. Oh shh! Like, but, like come the fuck stupid. on, you idiots! Oh my god! In the Midwest, if you live in the Midwest, I'm sorry, but Jesus Christ, guys, figure it out. Salt of the earth, come on, man. Salt of the earth. Bye. Goodbye.